That might be the solution to this. Right, let's see. Test. These 11-year-olds at Broadstone Hall Primary School are busy preparing for their science SATs tests, which will take place next week. They'll sit those alongside more than half a million other primary school children across England. But they could be among the last group to do so because the tests are being scrapped and replaced by teacher ongoing assessment. Andrew Heaton is the head teacher here. Uh, Andrew, the school's done very well in its science SATs in the past. What do you think of the plans to scrap it? Well, at the moment, all, all schools in the country are facing a national curriculum that's overloaded and unmanageable. So clearly this has to be taken as good news. Um, it's not going to marginalise science out of the curriculum. In fact, at the moment, science is a marginalised subject. We're teaching to a lot of short-term goals and a lot of short-term targets. It will make the subject more relevant, it will make it more meaningful, and I firmly believe that standards will be raised, children will achieve more, and more importantly, they'll be much happier and much more keen and eager scientists. Have we found out the answer to that, Megan? Yeah. What was the answer to that? Um... The science tests have been scrapped because the subject was downgraded and is no longer one of the core three at primary level. But current maths and English tests for 11-year-olds will be kept for the time being, at least until new style assessments have been trialled further. Teachers' unions still want all SATs tests for 11-year-olds to be axed, as they were for 14-year-olds last summer. But some think that's unlikely. I can't see at the moment a... Uh, an education system at the primary, at the end of the primary phase that does not have some external testing. Um, we live in a society that's data driven um, and therefore I think that regime will, will, will continue. Ben Bland, Channel M News.